what happens when babies die. In this video, I'll try to explain three reasons to believe children who die before the age of accountability go to heaven. I'm Pastor Mike. To answer this question, we'll need to find a scripture that makes a difference, a text that makes a difference in the lives of all who believe. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button. To learn more about this channel, you can read the description below. Many have lost children in their infancy and have questions about where their baby is now. Many churches teach that all have been separated from God by the work of Adam and have difficulty accepting that God would reject a child unable to understand right from wrong. In this video, we'll explore the issue and what the Word of God says to give us hope. Now, maybe I should start by defining what I mean by the age of accountability. A Hallman's Bible Dictionary says it this way, The age of accountability is that time in the development of a person when he or she can, and invariably does, sin against God, and thus stand in the need of personal redemption through Jesus Christ. Or, basically, they've reached the age of knowing right from wrong. Or knowingly doing wrong. Now, we're going to talk about children dying before they reach that age. Three things need to be understood in order to find hope in this situation. First, there are passages that make it very clear that through Adam, all have been separated from God. I would refer you to Ephesians chapter 2 and Romans chapter 5. Um, Romans 5 specifically mentions that through Adam, we've all lost our connection with God. And Christ alone accomplishes salvation. His work on the cross paid the penalty of our sins that separated us from God and opens the door for him to sanctify us, to bring healing into our lives, and eventually to return and remove all the presence of sin in all creation. But there are some texts that enhance our understanding in this particular issue. They seem to indicate that babies ultimately are not condemned. According to John chapter 9, verse 41, Jesus tells a bunch of Pharisees that believe they're righteous and have no need for salvation, that if you were blind, you would not have had sin. Since you say we see, or we can understand that in context to say since you claim to be wise, your sin remains. In other words, if a person lacks the natural capacity to see the revelation of God's will and God's glory, then that person's sin would not remain. God would not bring that person into final judgment for not believing what he had no capacity to see. Another interesting verse is Romans 1.20. In that verse, Paul says, for his invisible attributes, that's God's invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. So people who can see what God has done have no excuse before God. And so a person who is not able to process that, to understand what they see in the world, is God's revelation of himself and his glory. They will not be brought into a position of being accountable for that, for which they had no ability to understand. My personal favorite verse and passage on the concept of the saving of innocent babies is from 2 Samuel uh, chapter 12 verses 15 through 23, especially verse 23. David has just lost an infant son. Very shortly after birth, the child passed away. And his servants were afraid to tell him, afraid that he would hurt himself based on his love for that child. But when he found out, he got up, took care of himself, had a meal, uh, seemed to go on as nor usual, and the servants wondered about that, and they asked him. And he said that the child is dead. Why should I fast and mourn now? Can I bring him back? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. That's verse 23. 
David seems to be confident of his own salvation, and assumes that when he comes into that salvation in eternity, he will see his child there. A clear indication that he believed this child had died without reaching a point of being accountable for the sin nature. Another helpful passage is 2 Corinthians 5.10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. While separation from God originated with Adam, the outcome of each individual life is based on his own decisions. Since a child can't decide, God is free to exercise the grace purchased by Jesus on the cross. So from all of this, we conclude that God, in his mercy and grace, has created a way for those who die without knowing right from wrong to be saved. What do you think? I'd love it if you'd add a comment down below and tell me if this has been helpful, or if you have another reason to believe from Scripture that infants who die before the age of accountability will go to heaven. If you have a contrary view, I'm interested in hearing that as well. I accept any comments. Um, would also appreciate some comments from you if there's something I could do to make these videos more useful to you and your friends. If you find them useful, please subscribe. Just click the sub subscribe button below and click the bell so you'll know when I release new material. And if you happen to live anywhere near Enid, Oklahoma, I would invite you to visit us. Our service time every Sunday morning is 10 o'clock, and you can find our address on our Facebook page. Until next time, don't let others divert you from the grace of God. He will always be gracious. Keep the faith.